At dawn, Nathan drives deep into the MK's land, looking for these new additions to the pride. Uh, just some lion tracks coming across the road here, sort of um, heading inland. Uh, I can only see one set. They're not very big, so... I mean, it could be one of the females. It's kind of the direction, roughly, where the cubs are. Um, so it could be one of the mothers. The cubs are now about 10 weeks old, but their mothers are still hiding them in thick bush, which makes them tricky to find. It's a huge area that these lions cover, and quite often we just, you know, we hope by chance that they've crossed the road, which is where we're using. And if we manage to pick up their tracks, then we can start to try and get an idea of where they are. But if they haven't crossed the road, literally, I mean, you're looking through this thick bush, and it's just by chance if you haven't had a, a glimpse of them. They could be just behind that bush, and you drive straight past them. That's Heine. Nathan has been tracking lions here for 20 years. There's a lot of things you need to do other than looking for tracks on the road. It is actually listening for alarm calls, um, baboons, um, imp antelopes, impalas. Um, you also get a lot of birds that will alarm call. So it's sort of obvious signs from the bush uh, of the presence of predators. It's uh, turning into one of those mornings that um, driving everywhere and just can't find anything. By 10.30, it's already over 100 degrees. And most animals are resting in the shade. Looks like lion lying under the tree over there. So there's two lions, looks like Looks like the mothers, but they've got huge bellies, so they've had a good, uh, good meal last night. Producing milk for cubs means the mothers, Rosa and Zuri, must hunt and drink more often than usual. The mothers can leave their cubs for up to sort of 24 hours uh, hidden in the bush. So it's up to the kind of the cubs' responsibility to stay quiet and hidden, because if they start messing around, playing outside, then they, that's when they get seen. Nathan finds all five cubs hidden under a tree a few hundred yards away. It's quite interesting to watch little personalities developing with these cubs. The one just here with quite spotty legs, he's sort of really active compared to the others. Yeah, definitely, definitely a bit of a handful. The little male spotty mustn't explore too far from his hiding place. It would take just one baboon alarm call to blow his cover. Leopards or hyenas would kill these cubs without hesitation. There's no love lost between these competing predators. And now, with the arrival of the nomads to the north, the cubs face an even greater threat. They have to keep them away from the nomads because they will be killed. The mothers must keep the cubs hidden if they're to survive. They're not the only ones laying low. To the north, the Hollywood pride has retreated to the far border of its territory. After being attacked by the nomads a few weeks ago, 
The six lionesses have put as much distance between themselves and the males as possible. They're now far from their normal rich hunting grounds. Bearing the scars of the savage attack, matriarch Ava leads her pride to the river in search of food. It hasn't rained for four months, and for thirsty prey, the river has become one of the last remaining sources of water. But here, the hungry Hollywoods face competition from other predators. Huge numbers of crocodiles wait in the shallows for the unwary. And a young hippo calf is the perfect target. Especially when its mother's back is turned. also sense an opportunity for an easy meal. But in the water, it's the crocs who are the top carnivores. The naive hippo calf seems oblivious to the danger. forces of any animal on Earth. Once their jaws clamp down, there's no escaping. There's nothing the mother can do but follow in vain. Nova, one of the pride's two young females, is tempted to try and steal the kill. She's hungry, but it's a rookie mistake. Entering crocodile-infested waters is not a risk worth taking. The Hollywoods are stuck on the sidelines. Still hungry, they head away from the river to search elsewhere. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.